Now, I think in the video where we created walls for our two bedroom apartment, I should have made mention of um, custom shaped walls, walls with different shapes. Let's say axe, um, curves, whatever. So I should have made mention, but for some reason or I don't know, I don't actually know, but I didn't. So I, on demand, people asking about it, I want to make a dedicated video, which is this particular video, telling us or showing us how to create these walls and then how to continue from there. But before then, before we start the video, we get into the tutorial. I want to, you know, thank everyone for the support they are giving the channel, subscribers, the non-subscribers, the viewers, I want to thank you all. And then, in it, everything aside, if you have not subscribed to the channel, you can just subscribe, like the video, and then let's get into it. And our Complete Beginners Master Course, we have the pre-sign-up link in the description. You can go there, check it out, sign up to get notified when the video or the course is available online. That one is a personal something. So to begin with, I'm going to show two ways of creating these walls, these custom shaped walls. So one is to create an arc. If you know that what you want to create is basically an arc. So let's take the wall here. For that, you're going to select the wall, go to two palette, select wall. And then we want to come to properties and see segment type. You want to change your segment type to arc. To arc. And then if I want to create it, let's say I'm going to start from where. Uh, okay, so we are doing, let me see the justify, center. So since our justify is center, you want to select center. And then we come here. And then we close it off to this here. Press escape. We are done. You select that. And then I want to just change this. The style. Okay, so we have this. That's the idea. If you want an arc, if you know that what you want or the shape you want is a straight arc, you know the diameter and everything. Um, it's a it's an arc that you want. You can just select the wall from the two palette, change the properties to the line segment in the properties to from line to arc, and then you just draw it. So if we should go to the 3D view, um, this is already in. If we should, I'm coming, wait. Let's go to the 3D view again. And then let's change this to realistic. If we should go to the realistic view, that's what we have. It's cool though. Yeah. So, if you know the shape you want is a street arc, you can just do it without worrying yourself. It's basically simple. But if you have a custom shape, a shape that you want to create, a shape that you want to create, a custom shape you particularly want to create, with that, there are specific things you can use. If we should come here, you can use a line and then join them to change it to a wall. I'm going to show you later on. You can also use a polyline to do it. So can you use a circle to do it? And then there, I think all the shapes are going to be in here. You can also use an arc if you want. You can also use an arc. So let's start with a line. Let's just make one with a line first. So with the line, I'm going to click here. Let's say I want to create um, a three-sided wall. Let me just bring this in here. Take this there. So, so if I have this, this custom shape and I want to change it to um, a wall, I have to select all three of them and then Use the command join. I want to join them to become one. 
and then you type in the command wall that's the command we use so wall you type in the wall command and then you want to come down here and say convert so convert and then if you should read this it says select lines axe circles or polylines to convert to walls here we have lines here so select press enter it says erase layout geometry i want to say yes because i don't want the line there and then one thing else i want to change the style that's all so if we should close this off i have the shape i want the custom shape i want just that sometimes you're going to have something of this sort you just have to you know improvise just do something to make it work that's all you just have to improvise just pull some in pull some out to make it work <laughs> that's the idea yeah so with this i have a custom shaped wall can change this to realistic so we see it better so that's the wall i have created simple so anything you want any shape you have that's the idea let me just delete this again and then let's take our polyline polyline is the same thing it's the same procedure though let me just create something here seven feet and then let's take it out then let's reference from here let's reference from here so i have this polyline here then i want to fillet the corners to have a cave so i want to see fillet or come here i see radius i want to change the radius to let's see um let's see so the line here was seven feet so let's see four feet four feet radius and then i want to do it on two sides therefore it becomes multiple if you do not select multiple it's going to turn off or the command is going to be turned off after creating one so i want to select multiple here i want to fill it that then i want to select this and then that like so so now i have this shape it's a custom a different shape it's not a normal shape you can't have this particular shape with any of the tools available here you have to create it yourself so after doing this if i want to turn it to a wall it's already to get it's already one it's a polyline so it's one entity so i just type in my wall command select convert i want to convert this particular line press enter i want to delete the line work so there you have it you can also change it anything you want so that's how it works or that's how the whole thing works so that's how the custom ship the ships work if you want to create a custom wall a wall that is not 90 degree shaped it's not a straight line or anything of the sort this is the process you go through either you use the particular wall command there or you use this so let me create a um, an arc an arc wall here so let me just come in here select wall i want to create an arc wall and then change it to uh and then change it to a curtain wall if you want if you are interested that's if you are interested so let me just come out here and then close it off there let's see something like this let me change the style so let's say i have something like this and then i want to change this to a curtain wall the command we use is curtain wall convert so once you start typing you're going to get this curtain wall convert 
I select, I want to select a wall. If you have a line work and you want to turn it into a curtain wall, that's the command you use. So I want to select this. And then you select the justify, either centered or left or right. I'm going to select center. This is the custom one. I have not created any style. So custom one, I say okay. And then I want to create, I want to erase the line geometry. The one that already exists. I want to delete it. So yes. And then we have this. So that's the wall we have. And then let's go to 3D view. Let me change this to realistic. So you can see what we have. So this is actually how the curtain wall looks like. If you want to create something of this sort, that's how you do it. It's a curtain wall. So maybe you didn't know. <laughs> but I know majority of you know, don't worry. So that's the idea. That's basically how the whole thing works. If you have any, a line with anything of the sort, that's how you do it. It's simple, it's plain, it's easy to do. Just watch the video. Try to get your, get practicing. Just do some. Don't just watch the videos. You practice, you do some. You, you create something, you do it, you do it. If you have any problem, you contact me. Okay, so I don't know how. What's up, what's up? So later on, maybe we create a WhatsApp, something that we can share ideas or talk to each other. Later on, if you like, if you like that WhatsApp idea, you can tell me in the comment section, okay, so that we can create a WhatsApp something, a group or anything of the sort, so that we share ideas and then talk to each other. So that's basically how the custom walls look like or how to create custom walls, which includes curves and anything of the sort. If you are interested in the in the um, complete beginner's master guide or complete beginner's class course, you can just check the link in the description sign up subscribe to the youtube channel like the video that's all for today my name again is Sidon. bye bye